So you're going to make a little hole with your finger, very, very small, like uh, as small as the head of a, of a pin for um, sewing. And uh, you're going to close one eye and you're going to look through this little hole. We're actually becoming aware of how good our central vision already is. Now I'm going to introduce to you, with the help of Sandra, a tool that you can use as a substitute for sunglasses, as a substitute for prescription glasses in many cases, maybe not all cases, but in many cases, and as a transition and training tool when you want to improve your eyesight naturally. Ta -da 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 -da! The pinhole glasses. Okay, so the pinhole glasses have already in them the little holes that we were looking through because, well, as if when you go to the street, you probably don't want to go like this. <laughs> yeah, it would, it would be very comfortable um, and uh, you probably need to use your hands for many things. So can you show them again, the pinhole glasses closer mm -hmm. to the camera? So, oh, you just got froze. Oh, there you are. So as you see, there are glasses that are made out of plastic, mm -hmm. a dark piece of plastic, and they have holes in the plastic. Uh, and there's no lens, there's nothing, there's just holes. So because they're dark plastic, they can function as a substitute, you can wear them on if you want, as a substitute of sunglasses. Mm -hmm. So the advantage of the pinhole glasses compared to the sunglasses is that on the one hand, they do remove a lot of the extra light if it's bothering, but they still let in the full spectrum of light. Uh -huh. So you still synthesize vitamin D, you're still informed of the intensity of the light, so you still have the advantages of being in contact with sunlight. Mm -hmm. And how do they work as a substitute of prescription glasses? Well, because of the um, foveal vision or the central fixation or, or the stenopaic effect, when you look through these little holes, you're becoming aware of your foveal vision, so you're becoming aware of how well you see Mm -hmm. And then you train your brain to pay attention to this little pixel of good uh, eyesight, to the central fixation. They train the central fixation. And you also will want to look through the little holes, through the different little holes. And in this way, you're actually moving your eyes more instead of moving them less, which is what usually happens with the normal glasses. In normal prescription glasses, only the center of the lens has the proper um, uh, the proper curve of the lens to make you see well at a certain given distance. So your eye has to move very little to see well through the center of the glass. So actually prescription glasses are inhibiting the saccadic movements. That's one of the reasons, another reason why I'm asking you to wear prescription glasses or reading glasses as little as possible in the process of improving your eyesight naturally. And again, with common sense. If you're driving, you don't want to wear pinhole glasses. It would be dangerous. If you're driving, maybe you need the, the normal glasses. Mm -hmm. And the pinhole glasses, when to use them and when not to use them. So you can use the pinhole glasses um, so as a substitute for sunglasses in many occasions. You can use the pinhole glasses for reading, for working at the computer, for going to the movies or the theater, to watching, for watching TV. You can use them to move around in known places. I would not, so I tell you not to use them if you're driving because they cover too much of the peripheral view, so that would be dangerous. And uh, if you use them with little light, like at night, you won't see much because it requires light to go through the holes also. Um, and for your foveal vision, and the, the foveal vision doesn't have rods, so, uh, um, at night, they're not very useful. And do not use them uh, if you're using dangerous tools, yeah? You want to have your full visual field. Mm -hmm. So not for driving, not in the dark, not with dangerous tools. But otherwise, you can use them in many cases as a substitute of sunglasses and as a substitute for um, the other prescription or reading glasses. Um, you can also use them as a training tool uh -huh, because of how they um, make you aware of the foveal vision and how they encourage the saccadic movements. Mm -hmm. So you may want to use them 5, 10, 15 minutes a day as a practice. You may want to use them when you're doing the activities that would require them, like reading or being at the computer instead of um, the other glasses. Yeah? 
Want to add something about your experience with the pinhole glasses, Sandra? They were great at the beginning for a substitute for sun, sun glasses. Because uh -huh. at the beginning, well, as I had light sensitivity, I was like a vampire. I would go outside and, oh, I need to cover my... Uh -huh. So I would wear caps and I started off with my pinhole glasses. And as I know, I said, they're great for focusing. So they're a really good training tool. Yes. And the advantage of the pinhole glasses is that they they work well for you if you're nearsighted or if you're farsighted. And they also work well for astigmatism and instead of the reading glasses. So they work for all kinds of symptoms. And you can find them very, very cheap on the Internet. Mm -hmm. Um, you have them for as cheap as $1 to $5 a pair. You can go on different websites. And nowadays you have many different fashionable models. So you can find actually pretty pinhole glasses. Um, and well, then there's some more sophisticated ones that you can pay 30 or 45 or 50 some dollars per pair. But even those are cheaper than, um, for example, um, how do you call them now? Um, progressive glasses. Progressive glasses are a lot more expensive. Like any pair of pinhole glasses is probably cheaper than about any pair of reading or prescription glasses. Yeah. So that's a good tip, a good trick that you can uh, take for yourself. Um, and um, et voila. So um, we're teaching all of these because these are really the very basics of natural vision improvement and we want for everybody to know this and to practice and use this to improve their eyesight for free. This should be taught in school.